over a month since the Delhi rape case and I think the conversation is taking a different turn right now. Protests are much softer and quieter. On one side there are candlelight vigils, on the other side there's still some bloodlust calling for the castration and death penalty for rapists and uh, recently the Shiv Sena too distributed uh, knives for women. But will this change things for women? I don't think so. I think the way we've been questioning what happened in Delhi really makes this a case for wrong answers. To put things in perspective, let me tell you, yes, I've been attacked twice and I've been exposed to in broad daylight and both times people merely looked on. Both times police told me to forget it and move on. They didn't even let me file an FAR. And of course this attitude needs to change but you know what where the real problem lies in? It lies in us playing the victim. And as citizens we really shun responsibility for everything we say and do. And how will we find a solution if we shun responsibility? Citizens must understand it is just as criminal to look look on as mere spectators when women are being harassed and most people don't even help each other in public and we've got to change this attitude. Citizens not only have fundamental rights, I think we must realize we also have fundamental duties. So we must stop watching when women are being harassed. We must question authorities when they police and we must, must change the way we think and engage with people around us. And if we are pillar strong as a people, we will create a meaningful change in society. So my message is, please let this be a call for duty for all citizens.